yes hello welcome back to today's video this is sandra again and in today's video i want to share with us how we can change our company overview and the fiscal year as well and how to edit the date format as well so once you have completed creating your company through the easy step interview or the express start wizard as i had showed you in the previous video you can now view the company overview and see if there is anything you may want to add or change from it so if you want to know more about uh, what you are seeing on the quickbooks screen and uh, are still new please check out my next video because um, I will just uh, uh, show you how the QuickBooks window is uh, set up so to view our company overview let's come over here to my company so when you click on my company it shows you the company overview just right here so from here you can see your um, your business name contact and then over here you can see some other options uh, says app services and subscriptions recommended for you so if you want to use payroll you can turn it on from here or you want to add a credit card to make payments online can turn it over there or you want to order a check online you know you can just turn it up from here though some of these features may not work for you if your version of quickbooks is no longer supported uh, that's to say 2018 version uh, uh, inch you'd stop support of it uh, uh, by may 31st 2021 and the rest of the versions behind 2018 that's to say if you're using quickbooks 2016 quickbooks 2017 quickbooks 2013 and the ones behind your QuickBooks version is no longer supported by the Intuit, so you may have to upgrade. I am as well using QuickBooks 2018, so uh, I'll also surely upgrade just in case you need the bank feeds options, you need the payroll options and those online payments and emailing your clients as well. You will have to upgrade. So let's get on to um, editing our company overview so to change any information that you are seeing over here you will click on this um, pencil uh, uh, box here it when you put your cursor on it to say edit so you just click on that and when you click on it it opens this dialogue so from here you can change any information i have already added my email but in case i had not i could just add it there and then add your fax number in case it's there on uh, the website of your company in case you have one and so i wouldn't want to change anything here let's see what's here next the legal information still the city and the state you know the address still the zip code you know with the zip code it really never changes so if you um had not entered anything in this field and you wanted to add it there you can go on and add it from here yeah so let's come to company identification so this is where you enter your uh, uh, employer identification number or the social security number in uganda we'd call this the tin of your business and um this is um also uh the 1099 if uh you have your ident uh, tax number you'd enter it here but uh, also the 1099 wizard doesn't work with the non-supported version of quickbooks guys so if your version is still not supported then you cannot use the 1099 wizard to file a tax form so guys this is where you'd enter that information so under the report information so here uh, you'd have the uh, the fiscal year so this is where we get to change a fiscal year from guys i prefer basically january as my opening year this means that my 
accounting year ends on December 31st and I begin business as uh, at January 1st. So in case you want to change it, uh, I can just begin my business as at July 1st and that means my accounting year would end uh, June 30th and you can as well change this too but I'll keep it to January. I, I, I love the simplicity, January to December, you know, Christmas and all that. So in case you uh, needed to add any payroll information and all this, it would also be here. So that's it, guys, for uh, your company overview and uh, how to change your uh, fiscal year to the ones you want. So now on to date format in case... Uh, you don't like the format the, uh, of the date that appear on your reports and transactions. Um, let's first click OK over here and then we can now close that. And then uh, to change your uh, uh, date, we come over here to edit. Then we'll go right over to preferences. Then from preferences over here, we'd come here Oh, I had been here before, so we'd click on gr uh, reports and graphs as well. Then it brings out this overview, but we would want to click on the company preferences. Then under company preferences, we have all these others. In case you found something that you wanted to change, you can as well just go and tick and then tick uh, one of these um, dots here. So, okay, so what we want is over here under format. You click on format and it will take you to this dialogue box. And in this dialogue box, come on, look, yes, company name, report title, subtitle. Yes, it will show date preferred. So from here is where we get to change our date format. So my original format is uh, December 31st. Then the year could be 2021. Yeah, 2020, 2021. So I love this format. So I will not really change. But in case you have to change, you would uh, click one of these. But uh, QuickBooks normally provides only two options for the format depending on your location. So for us here, this is the format that works for us, Ugandans and this side of Africa, East African, yeah. Yes, so this is it, guys, for today. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like and comment as well. And I'll be glad to reply to your comments. And if there is a query that you may want me to make for you, a video concerning, please feel free to leave a comment as well down. And subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.